Hey there, Tim Pierce with the Pierce Group at Keller Williams Realty. As always, thank you so much for stopping by my blog post. Uh, today, we're going to talk quickly about something uh, that, that a lot of homeowners have been approaching me about uh, as of late, uh, with home prices continuing to be on the rise in our market. Um, home sellers, homeowners have asked me oftentimes, Tim, what, what type of uh, home improvement projects should I be making to my house? Uh, to, to help improve my, my property's value. And uh, so what we're going to talk about today is five, the top five uh, guaranteed home improvement projects to improve, to boost your property's value. And so we'll go through those uh, in some detail here in just a little bit. Uh, but before we do that, I want to remind you about some free tools and resources available to you here uh, right within this blog post. Anytime you need to uh, look at property online, uh, maybe you're in searching for you've been searching for a home in our local market. Uh, we've got one of the greatest websites out there for home searches, um, and you all you have to do is click on search homes below. Uh, you can you can search the entire uh, you know availability in our MLS. You'll have gateway access to our MLS uh, with with all listings, uh, which is great. So please uh, take advantage of that. If you're a home seller and you're curious about your home's value, you can also click on our home evaluation tool, uh, which is a great tool that, that uh, you know resources local comparable sales and um, and and will help you uh, you know give you a rough idea of your home's value as well. So, uh, but uh, without further ado, let's jump into the top five uh, home improvement projects that will boost your home's value. So the first with one of the highest returns both nationally and locally is the replacement of your garage door or doors. So this can be a relatively small investment but can be a big return on your investment. So you know you might spend three, five thousand dollars on garage doors. Um, you know if you've got a, a big garage, a three car garage and expensive garage doors, it could be considerably more. Uh, but both nationally and locally, um, the National Association of Home Remodelers actually estimates that it's a 161% return on your investment. When you think about it, it's probably uh, really the first impression that you make on a buyer. They're going to pull up to your house. Oftentimes, they're going to see your garage doors first. Um, and you only get one chance to make a first impression. So it's critical that you make a really good one. Uh, so that makes a lot of sense. Uh, I think that's a that's a great approach to improving your property's value. Um, um, uh, another sort of first impression home improvement project is replacing your front door. And maybe it doesn't need to be replaced. Maybe you have a beautiful mahogany front door that just needs restaining and needs new hardware. Um, and 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 that's all you need to do. Uh, but that that job alone. Uh, could return up to 75-76% um, on your investment. Um, again, it's a first impression. They, they come up to the front door. It says a lot about how you maintain your house, um, you know, the style of your house, everything about it. Maybe that front door has old brass hardware on it and you need to replace it with oil rub bronze uh, to be more on trend today. Um, so that's a really, really good investment. Number three is a kitchen remodel. So we all know kitchens sell houses immediately. If somebody has redone their kitchen, it is a big deal for a home buyer. Uh, a kitchen remodel can range greatly. So you could do a kitchen remodel and replace countertops and maybe you refinish uh, the, the cabinets, maybe you put in new appliances and the kitchen gets a new fresh look. That's gonna be your highest return on your investment. Maybe that's a $20,000 investment in your kitchen and that could be, you know, anywhere in the 75 um, uh, or excuse me, 68 percent range in terms of return. Uh, the higher end you go, the more luxurious you make your kitchen, the more uh, high end it becomes, uh, the lower the return. Uh, so that could, you know, lower the return to, you know, 54 percent roughly um, in terms of your overall cost. But Naturally, when you redo a kitchen, you could spend up to $100,000, maybe even more, depending on how, um, how updated or, or how extensive of a, of a kitchen renovation you're going to do. 
The fourth is bathrooms. And again, much like kitchens, this can range significantly. Uh, you know, with a half bath, you might spend you know, five, seven thousand dollars updating a half bath. You could spend more. Um, on a master bathroom, you could easily spend twenty, thirty thousand dollars. Um, generally, uh, bathrooms will return about a sixty to seventy percent uh, return on your dollar, and um, and again, it all depends on how extensively you go. Um, and then and then lastly, uh, which we don't see quite as much in our local market, but a full siding replacement or um, completely refinishing uh, the siding, repainting, fixing wood rot, things like that can be a significant return on your investment, 91%. <clears throat> and again, that also kind of gets back to the overall uh, first impressions make a big difference. You know, the siding of your house is, is, uh, is a first impression for many buyers. Um, and, and so those are, those are the top five uh, uh, home improvement projects guaranteed to boost your home's value. Uh, hopefully that means a lot to you. Hopefully it, it, it's helpful in your decision-making process. As always, I want to be a trusted resource for you. So if you ever have any questions about these types of things, please don't hesitate to ask. I've also left a resource here for you, uh, a link to the National Association of Home Remodelers, which is actually a cost versus value report, which is a really cool report um, that they, they study uh, both nationally and locally. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't get as close to uh, our local market, the Hilton Head Bluffton market. I had to go to the Savannah market, uh, but I think it'll be pretty close for our market in general. So again, thanks for visiting my blog post. If I can ever be a service to you, please don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, me and my team are here for you. Thanks so much.